All right, today, you two, we're going to unlock a Sprint G955U, which is a S8 Plus. First, before you get started, make sure we're doing the revision 2, which is bit 2. So, any firmware that has a 2 right here, it will work on. So, check the, the phone, make sure it's firmware 2 before you even start, or this will not work because and you can't downgrade you got to keep the two whether it's Android 7 or 8 if it's got the two you can use it even if it's Android 7.0 it's got the two you can upgrade or downgrade a firmware as long as that number stays there a lot of people get confused on what they can downgrade and upgrade but you got to keep the number so let me go to revision 3 if you got a phone that has that 3 this will not work um, if I get some views on this I'll make other videos for that and I'll make another video for revision one alright so let's get started phone's going dead so let's make it short and sweet first power off your phone then hold volume down power in a Bixby you'll get to this screen you'll press up to continue and now you're in download mode make sure you remove the Google account and it says FRP off if you don't remove your Google account and your FRP is on when you reset the phone, you'll have to enter your Gmail information. So then on the computer, after that, you want to get the latest version of Odin. Odin 3.13.1. Okay, install your Samsung drivers. And you'll know Odin's working when you see the phone is added. Okay. Then I want you to download the combination file. You need a combination firmware for the G955U. This is a combination firmware. G955U. Okay. You want to go to AP. And if you don't know where to get this stuff or anything, uh, maybe later if I actually get views and stuff, I'll add links. But for now, uh, if you don't know how to find a combination firmware, you're out of luck. So you load it right there in AP. I'm not going to do this one because it's already done. You want to go to Options. Don't touch anything else. Go to Options and check NAND Erase. Only do this when writing combination firmware. This erases the cache and stuff and keeps it from uh from getting stuck if you don't check nanny race it could get stuck and you might have to reflash or you can go to the recovery and wipe data and cache but i always do nanny race because this is easier that's the only one you check and then go ahead and hit start let it do its thing the phone will power cycle when it comes back on it'll be a weird firmware it's called a combination firmware uh it enables root and adb so after you do that, you open up your unlocker tool. In this case, I'm using the Samsung tool. Um, this is a paid program, so yeah, this is, you're not gonna get this stuff for free if you don't. You know, there's there's Samsung tool, there's Octopus, there's multiple programs, but they're paid programs. So you know, maybe you know, a couple hundred dollars you can get this tool. Uh, if you don't want to spend that, then uh, yeah maybe you could find a cracked version or something like that me personally uh if you do a couple phones you're getting your money's worth so once you're in samsung tool go ahead and select g930p you want to go up to the unlock tab you want to click right here and you'll see on the phone that it asks to enable usb debug and you'll hit ok on your phone since I ain't actually flash there, I'm not going to see it. But if I did, I would click right here and my phone would pop up and it would ask me to enable it and hit OK to always enable USB debugging on the phone. Once you do that, you will hit unlock. It will let you know that this phone is done a G930P. It's not a S7. And it asks you, do you want to continue? It'll hit yes. Then it throw a string and then it unlocks successfully. As long as your combination firmware 2 that you flash that's bit 2 and as long as your firmware on the phone previously was bit 2 
it's it's that easy there's no you won't have any other problems once then your phone will power cycle once your phone comes back on to the combination phone it's already unlocked from there so then you would hold volume down power and bixby hit up to continue you will get back to download mode you'll get back to the screen and then you will open up odin once more and you will flash the 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 original firmware back to phone so you want to download the, another firmware um, whenever whenever your flash firmware if it's on bit 2 you can flash bit 3 bit 4 firmware it doesn't matter you just can't go lower you can't downgrade so get any firmware that's bit 2 or higher I'm going to go ahead and start selecting it I already got my firmware downloaded I got my firmware extracted, so I would do this is the S8. So you want to load the eight. There'll be five files in there. The AP. Now this folder's got a bunch of diff, uh, two different firmwares on it for the S8 and the S8 Plus. So I got two of everything. Then you would do the BL. That's the S8. Here's the S8 Plus. That's what we need. BL. Then we do CP. And you want to do CSC. Now there will also be a home CSC. And make sure, obviously you're not going to have multiple firmware. So you'll only have one of each thing. I got two. Because that's a S8, that's a S8 Plus. I got a bunch of stuff on my computer right now. So, But uh, yeah. So you just select the four files. It's that easy. This user data, you keep that blank. Also, when you download a firmware, there'll be one that says Home S uh, CSC. You don't want to use Home CSC. You just want to use CSC. Select all four files. The last time when we did the nanny race, you don't do that this time. That's only when we flash the combination. So you just simply hit Start. The phone will power cycle, and your phone will now be unlocked. Um, if, if you can't comprehend all that the way that I'm explaining it then it's, some, it's something maybe not for you um, if, if you re this is for somebody that already knows what they're doing but they just need you know just need to know how to do it for this specific model if it's anything else if it's any you know if you don't know if you're just starting you know maybe this might not be for you but uh Yep, after that, uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, if you like it, I'll do some more phones, and I'll actually try to do them before I unlock them, so I can do it from the beginning, but uh, for people that know what they're doing, this is basically all you need to know. Um, so let me know what y'all think, and maybe I'll do it for the Bit 3 firmware, the Bit 4 firmware, the Bit 5 firmware, you know, this is basically just, you know, even me, when a new phone comes down, a new firmware we don't know where to start so we got to learn it new every time so uh yeah this is for somebody that already knows basically what they're doing all right um if we need a beginner's guide or something like that like i said if i get some likes and uh some shares and stuff i'll do a beginner's guide where i get to explain all this to y'all but uh thank you like subscribe and share uh probably this is probably my first actual real you know video that people might actually go to because everybody wants to know how to unlock certain phones so yeah just look out for me on this time y'all and, and i'll keep them going thank you